Well, we have a long night ahead of us. Come on, we have a drink first. I need someone to talk to. Mm. I think I'm in love. Madly in love. Saw her on Monday. She seemed upset. I was just wondering what's a white lady doing in an all black folk cemetery. What's she doing in my cemetery? What's she upset about Miss Calhoun for? All those questions went out the window the moment our eyes met. She likes me. I know she does. The problem is how am I gonna tell her my real job here isn't just sweep the grounds, bury the dead, close the gates. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm not just a caretaker here. I prevent the dead from leaving the grounds. Oh, you didn't know. Everybody that gets buried here comes back to life. And then I have to pull the brains out and bury their asses again. I think that might freak her out a little bit. Drummond made me forget all about her when he decided to stop by the next day. Mr. Drummond, I'm getting really sick and tired of seeing you around here. This will be the last time you see me, son. Either you sell me this property, or you face the consequences. This land was my grandpappy's, my father's, and now it belongs to me. So you can get off my property before you end up in one of them graves by accident. So you're gonna take the consequences. Not much brains up in that noggin, Charlie. What I don't get with honey, I just take. You know this. You could dig up some of your residents and ask them yourself. Oh, I don't want to shrink your dick, son. But I've had barrels pointed at me all my life and I've never pissed my pants. I don't want you to piss your pants, old man. I want to wipe that smirk off your face. For good. <laughs> Yesterday, Drummond sent his boys. I sent them back to him. Some of them in pieces. <laughs> hmm. You. Can't be wandering around the cemetery, Mr. Jackson. You know this. Thank you for listening, though. All right, come on. Let's go get you back to bed.